welcome back to Mighty Mix Picks. And I want to uh, I want to thank everybody that's been subscribing. Uh, things have been looking really, really good. A lot of people have been jumping on board, joining the family here at Mighty Mix. And uh, I'll tell you what, <clears throat> I couldn't be prouder. It's only been a few months and we're approaching 350 in uh, subscribers. So thank you. Uh, today what we're going to talk about is uh, the newly released NFL draft schedule and uh, the way uh, the picking order for the NFL draft. So uh, yeah, <clears throat> I don't know how do we lead into this, but I'll say this, not too happy where the Cowboys finished off this year and I'm sure other people in Cowboys country are not happy as well. But, you know, that's what the draft is for. I just wish we had a better spot. If we were going to blow it, I wish we would have blown it a lot earlier. So, but uh, the, the schedule is out. And um, leading things off, as what seems to be usual anymore, is the Jacksonville Jaguars at number one. Then you got the Detroit Lions coming in their customary number two. And the Houston Texans coming in their customary number three. That's when things start to, you know, well, never mind. That's where things pretty much stay the course with the Jets coming in at four and the Giants coming in at five. <clears throat> After that, then you got the Carolina Panthers coming in at number six. And, uh, you know, the Panthers, they need help down there, but the Panthers are in a good position. I don't think they need that much help. And to have number six overall, it's a pretty good position to be in. Uh, the Giants, though, come back at number seven. Uh, that's why I started off by saying the Dallas Cowboys are its a terrible situation for them, really, in their conference because, you know, the Giants thus far, if you've been paying attention, number five and number seven belong to the New York Giants. And the Giants got this second pick from the Bears back when they pulled the old uh, move up to get Justin Fields. Uh, the Bears, that is. Um I'm getting to the worst case scenario for the Cowboys, so please hang in there. <clears throat> Has to do a little something about the Eagles, as we like to call them up here in the Northeast. Um, coming in at number eight is the Falcons, the Atlanta Falcons. And number nine, I believe they were even number nine last year, nine or ten, the Denver Broncos. Um, you know, last year it was kind of... Uh, melodramatic because the Broncos stole, stole Patrick Sertan right from us, but we ended up with Micah Parsons, so I'll take that trade. Um, <clears throat> anyway, coming in at number 10 is the Jets again. So that's two picks in the top 10 for the New York Jets. I mean, there's no more excuses in the Meadowlands, okay? No more excuses. I mean, you have a top 10 pick every year. This year, you got two. This one coming from Seattle, still for the Jamal Adams trade. Um, then 11, you got the Washington football team. And by God, it still hurts me to call them that. Even being a Cowboys fan, we all know their real name. <clears throat> but they have a good pick again at number 11. Uh, number 12 belongs to the Minnesota Vikings. 13, the, uh, the Cleveland Browns. And 14, the Baltimore Ravens. So Ravens fans, you know, you're in the top 15. That's beautiful for you guys. You know, you guys... I don't know. I, I, offense, defense, they need a few positions, but they're right there. You know, they have a good draft. They could be Super Bowl contenders this year, believe it. Um, and then here's where things take a southern note for the make. The Philadelphia Eagles have three picks in this year's first round. So basically, Jalen Hurts or no Jalen Hurts, they could rebuild their entire team right now. And this is what is not, it's uncomfortable for me as a Cowboy fan. But they are lucky, and I just hope they stay the course and pick like they normally pick, which is terrible. So, <clears throat> but anyway, coming in at 15 is the Philadelphia Eagles. And they got that from Miami for the trade and that whole move-up thing last year uh, in last year's draft. And then right there, back-to-back -back at number 16, it's the Philadelphia Eagles again. So they got that one from the Carson Wentz deal with Indy. Then you got the San Diego, part of me, the Los Angeles Chargers coming in at 17. You got the New Orleans Saints at 18. And here we go, the Philadelphia Eagles again at number 19. 
and I am not happy about that at all. That's three picks in the top 20 for the Eagles. If you screw this up, Philadelphia, I mean, I would not be surprised if the fans stormed the Metroplex down there because how you could screw this up, I have no idea. But you have three first-round picks in the top 20. So, cheers. And you got the Steelers coming in at 20, followed up by the Pats at number 21. You got the, um, the Las Vegas Raiders coming in at number 22, and the Cardinals coming in at number 23. And then, by the grace of God, hallelujah, and the ghost of Roger Stahlbach, we got the Dallas Cowboys coming in finally at number 24. And we need all kinds of things. Personally, I think need more defense or at least somebody that's going to keep Dak upright and not get injured the very first game of the year. Um, number 25 is the Buffalo Bills. Number 26 is the Tennessee Titans. And here's Riffy interrupting my podcast again. Uh, we got... The, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers coming in at number 27. And you want to, do you want to tell them, Riffy? You want to tell them who's coming in at number 28? Huh? The Green Bay Packers are coming in at number 28. And the Green Bay Packers might be looking for a quarterback. We're not sure about that yet. There's apparently some ongoing talks with the Denver Broncos and Aaron Rodgers. So stay tuned for that one. <clears throat> After that, we got number 29, the Dolphins from San Francisco with the trade via the Eagles last year and those multiple moves uh, early on in the draft. Um, number 32 belongs to the Chiefs. And then after that, folks, you know, it's, it's a coin toss. You know, whoever wins, you know, you got the Bengals or the Rams. But see, the Rams, they owe that pick to the Lions. So basically, 31 and 32 is either going to be Bengals, Lions, or Lions, Bengals. But, you know, there you have it. That's the lineup this year for uh, the, the 2022 NFL Draft. And I don't know about you, it's uh, February 1st, and I'm psyched already about it. We haven't even had the Super Bowl, Pro Bowl, any of that, but the Mick is ready. You know, I love football. I miss college football already. And... Uh, I can't wait for this upcoming draft. I was happy to get this news today that the draft order was set. Um, you know, I'll say this. Stay tuned because the Mick is going to start getting more heavily involved in the UFC, uh, boxing matches. I'm going to mix a little basketball in there. But, uh, you know, I tried to focus mainly on football, uh, NFL football and college football because, you know, to me, you can only pick so much. To follow 150 college football teams and 32 NFL football teams, that's enough in itself. And I wouldn't feel comfortable swallowing football, baseball, basketball, college football, and look my followers in the eye and say that the Mick is on top of it all because it's impossible. It is impossible. So those, those of you that are doing it, God bless you. God bless you. But to me, that's impossible. So what I do is I stick with what I can cover and cover intelligently and expertly, basically, and get you the best results as possible. And if you followed me all year, we're at 68% win percentage, and you made some money following the Mick. So tell some friends, hit that like button, pound that subscribe button, and uh, we'll see you soon in my next video. Thanks.